Whoa! Today is my birthday. 44. I feel like I'm only like 14 when I get on my Harley and go for a wrap. <laughs> Gotta love it. Not working on my birthday. I'd actually rather have a job at the moment than be working because six months without working not the best sometimes. But you gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose, and go for a ride. So to all those people that work on their birthdays this year Sucked in, I'm not. <laughs> Funny story about working on birthdays, but I got a few of them. Years ago, I decided I wanted to work on fishing boats. Even though I got extremely bad seasickness as a kid, I always liked the idea of going fishing. So the opportunity came up, went out and turned a long liner. I went like 400 kilometres off the coast, 200 nautical miles off the coast of Cairns in North Queensland. I didn't get sick, I felt like shit, but I didn't get sick. And it's quite funny, like on the way out there, once we got sort of out the reef a bit, I got woken up and asked to do a steaming watch. I'm like, okay, no worries. So they gave me a quick rundown on how to do navigation and what you got to do and yep, cool. I'm in charge of this 24 metre long vessel or 23 metre long vessel with five people's lives in my control. So I did a couple of hours of steaming watch and yeah. Turned around and said to the um, first mate, Skipper, I like this, I want to drive one of these. <laughs> I fell in love with it. So five years later, I got the Skipper's ticket. And, and then, yeah, I sort of went in a different direction after that. But my first birthday when I was on the boat, I kept myself a little diary of time and day I left the port and return. You know, come into port and I'm filling in my diary and I look, I look at the skipper and it's like, oh, it's my birthday today. And everyone's like, oh well, <laughs> we better go and get drunk. And off we go, we go over the pub and night club and, and the next year we're going to sea, throw the ropes, and heading out and got everything stored and ready for the rough conditions. I get my little diary out and start filling it out. It's like, huh, it's my birthday today. Everyone's like, you just realised? I'm like, yeah, well, I don't know what time it is or what day it is when I'm in town. <laughs> Never wore a watch and back in those days, I, at the time I didn't have a phone. So, yeah, I didn't know it was my birthday. So a couple of years passed, and I was working on the prawn troll in Gulf Carpenteria. And working away, and it was been pretty busy. And then one day I was like really busy, and the person was, had to write up the boxes we store the prawns in. Hadn't done enough up, so. I'd jump down quickly and start writing up some boxes. I asked the cook, what's the date? Because we had to date every box, so, you know, the quality insurance and all that sort of stuff. And the cook said, oh, it's the 3rd of May. <laughs> and I cracked up laughing. The cook looked at me, what are you laughing at? So, uh, my birthday a couple of days ago. And the cook's like, you're serious? Well, yeah. Dead set serious. So well, why didn't you tell us? Oh, I forgot. And they're like, 
second you forget it's your birthday. I'm like, well, I hadn't been writing up on boxes for a week. You know, I've been that busy and everyone else was on top of it. And, yeah, that's just plain and simply forgot. So, was it third of May or remembered? A uh, birthday for me that never really meant much. The sort of my family wasn't a big celebrator of Christmas or anything, you know, because it meant getting together with the family and and yeah, my family was a bunch of morons, bloody hated each other's guts and uh, wasn't a good childhood like. And he told the family got together and well, lived on the farm with my aunt and uncle, grandma and granddad and mum and dad and so it's pretty much you're around your family all the time so you're bound to fight. So, yeah, birthdays and things are just just another day. Uh, but yeah, I'm not working on my birthday. I'm going for a ride. I might go buy myself a present. And there we are at the coast. Oh, I'd love to go back out and work on boats again. But I don't think I'd be able to handle it with the way my brain is at the moment. With bloody all the shit going on and since I've got brain damage my balance isn't the best. I just wake up in the morning I feel like I'm drunk, stagger around. Bad enough I used to get seasick as it was when I went out fishing and <laughs> that was a good laugh. People used to say, how can you put up with it? Easy. Just take a can of um, cell vital out. Little, little energy boost of fizzy drink. When I start feeling sick, make yourself one of those. Scull it down on the back deck. And, um, yeah, put the finger down my throat and help a ring up. Have a big stew. And then life was good. Maybe you just think I was mad, you know. I'll be at the back deck some days. Spew my ring up. Work it away. It's constantly spewing. <laughs> but, yeah. I still worked and enjoyed it. I worked with some people look, when they got seasick. Yeah. They couldn't even move. But life goes on. So anyway, that's my story. And it's my birthday and I'm not working and just riding. So, till next time, peace out.